We're live. Okay, state alive. Sergeants, will you start your recordings? Okay, the cloud is up. Backup is rolling. Sergeant Polite, you may begin to open. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the remote hearing on the Committee on Environmental Protection. For council members and staff, please turn on their video at this time. Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place all cell phones and electronics to vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeant Arms. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Costa Constantinidis. I am chair of the Environmental Protection Committee, and today the committee will hold a hearing and vote on the plan to transition the use of Rikers Island from a correctional facility holding detainees to renewable Rikers, a sustainable renewable contribution to New York City's green future. Uh, as I stated just two weeks ago, Rikers Island has a notorious past, but today's action will help repel Rikers Island into an integral contribution uh, towards our sustainable future. Just 13 months ago, we introduced the Renewable Rikers Bills, uh, which helped formulate a new vision for the island. Uh, communities historically targeted by crim the criminal justice system. Communities too often burdened with the city's most polluting infrastructure. The communities facing environmental justice challenges can look forward to some measure of relief. Intro 1591B would require the Commissioner of Environmental Protection in consultation with the Commissioner of Sanitation to assess the feasibility of constructing a wastewater treatment facility on Rikers Island. Uh, the study would consider population projections and possible alternatives to wastewater treatment and disposal, as well as minimum capacity and maximum capacity a wastewater treatment facility on Rikers Island should have. How much wastewater might be able to be diverted from other facilities and the capacity on Rikers Island for the capture of combined sewer overflow or CSOs. Uh, this required study will also consider the potential for organic waste recycling via composting operations, organic co-digestion, and biosolids reuse. This study will also assess, in a separate review, the presence of methane, the potential installation of methane recovery systems, and the use of such systems by any wastewater treatment facility. Finally, uh, the Rikers Island Advisory Committee will make recommendations to the department regarding the feasibility study and a separate review regarding, uh, regarding the presence of methane. Individuals whose lives have been affected by the justice system, environmental justice organizations, uh, uh, environmental organizations, planning organizations, and labor organizations can help reimagine uh, a new Rikers Island. Communities hosting the oldest sewage treatment plants can finally look forward to potential relief and Rikers Island can reflect the hope for a better, greater future. According to NRDC, the National Resources Defense Council, a disproportionate percentage of the people jailed on Rikers Island are Black and Latinx, despite making up little more than half of New York City's population. Furthermore, as late as last year, in the midst of the COVID pandemic, uh, approximately 72% of the people held on pretrial detention were often held because they were unable to afford uh, money for bail. This victory in the campaign to close Rikers Island jails and transform the island into a model of green infrastructure and jobs come after years of organizing by frontline environmental justice communities and organizations uh, directly impacted by incarceration there. I want to recommend a yes vote on all proposed legislation. Before we do that, I just want to thank the committee staff of uh, Samara Swanston, uh, our, our, our legislative attorney, our policy analysts, Nadia Johnson and Ricky Chawla, our financial analyst, Jonathan Seltzer, uh, Bradley Reed uh, for all of his great work on the bill, Laura Popa for all of her great work, all of the attorneys that were involved, uh, my legislative director and counsel, Nicholas Wazowski and my entire team. And uh, lastly, our speaker, Corey Johnson, uh, who is helping us move this forward and moving New York City potentially in a green uh, a Green New Deal direction. So with that, I recommend a yes vote on this bill today. Good afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me, William Martin, committee clerk will call vote committee on environmental protection. 
proposed introduction 1591B, Chair Constantinides. I vote aye. Levin. Permission to explain my vote? Absolutely, Council Member. Thank you very much, Chair. I just wanna uh, thank you, Chair. I wanna thank the speaker. I wanna thank uh, uh, Committee, Committee Council Samara Swanston um, and um, all the advocates for, um, uh, for pushing to make sure that we as a council um, and um, pass this legislation, but also that we as a city and city government um, uh, make good on the commitments that we made when we, um, when we voted on the borough-based jails plan back in 2019, um, that to ensure that Rikers is not going to become Rikers Island, some, um, um, some scheme for developers to build luxury housing, or for some people to um, to make money, I, there was a lot of a lot of discussion about that at the time, and um, and we insisted and asserted that um, Rikers was going to be closed, that it was no longer going to be a jail, um, that this might take time, um, a, a matter of years, but we were doing we were putting that plan. Um, into practice and starting the uh, the gears in motion to make sure that that happens, and that it happens in a way that is that can't be reversed. Um, we know that we're not going to be in office next year. This council won't be in office, and there will be a new mayor, new administration. But um, if we can uh, uh, get things going um, in a way that is um, that is irreversible um, and on a on a on a road towards um, sustainability. Um, you know, that's what we should be doing. And so the, this, the passage of this bill today um, is an important part of that. And it's also, it's, it's the right thing to do. We know that um, the greatest impact that our city has on climate change is, um, is how we consume energy. Um, and um, we have eight and a half million people in this city um, and, um, the, the most that we can be off the, uh, the grid as it relates to uh, uh, fossil fuels um, is, is, the, is our, that's our down payment to future generations in, in our city and in our, in our entire world. And we're the largest city in America. We need to be leading by example. This is a once in a century opportunity, um, not just to do the right thing when it comes to criminal justice reform, um, but also um, uh, when it comes to how we how we um, combat climate change um, in meaningful ways. So chair, I want to thank you. This is a, 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 an important part of your legacy as chair of this committee. Again, I want to thank Samara for, for all the work that she's done as committee council and uh, in your staffs. And, and I'm proud to vote aye on this today. Thank you. Thank you. Menchaka. I vote aye. Thank you, Chair. Thank you. Dharma Diaz. I also vote aye. Thank you. One moment. Okay, by a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, proposed introduction 1591B has been adopted by the committee. Uh, uh, seeing no other members, and uh, with thanks to all the staff and all the council members who voted aye today, I will gavel this uh, committee hearing closed.